30 Clean and with Chef Rose. We are in the kitchen today learning about how you can make your own clarified butter or a ghee at home. Um, a lot of times, a lot of my clients and a lot of 30 Clean challengers ask, you know, what's the difference between grass fed butter or using clarified ghee, uh, clarified butter or ghee? And I think the biggest difference is that, well, you know, grass fed butter is amazing and it has some really good properties. It's good for medium and short chain fatty acids. Um, okay. It still can pose some problems to people that have a dairy intolerance. Yes, and actually, when you make clarified butter, I'm going to show you, but you actually remove the milk solids, right. so it becomes a non dairy oil yeah. to cook with. It's really taking out the um, lactose and casein, so people mm -hmm. with allergies usually are fine having clarified butter. Also has other healing properties, um, again, short chain fatty acids, so there is some healing that happens in your digestive system when you're using ghee or eating it in Ayurvedic medicine. They use it like we sometimes use coconut oil. A lot of healing, healing, good stuff comes from using clarified butter. So let's learn how to do it. Yes. All right, so we start with our butter, and you're just gonna unwrap it, and you're just gonna melt it onto the stove. So we'll go over to the stove and check it out. Awesome, love it. So now we're here learning exactly what happens when you're making the clarified butter. Right, so we went ahead and melted the butter in a saucepan on the stove, and as you can see, it starts to separate. This butter is very noisy and is letting us know that it's ready. <laughs> so you really only had two sticks of like grass-fed butter. Yep. I like to actually do a whole pound at a time just because you do use, when you start using clarified butter or ghee, I feel like you do use it pretty quickly. And as we were talking about, you guys can hear, um, Chef Rose was talking about the incredible high heat point, like the high smoke yes, point. Yes, high smoke point. So that's why cooking with clarified butter is wonderful. Um, they do it, use it in all French cooking and a lot of Indian cooking as well um, because the smoke point is up to 500 degrees. Awesome. So right now you're just taking off the... Yes. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm just using a big spoon and I'm scooping off the top. These kind of cloudy parts, those are the milk solids. Awesome. And they will naturally separate as the butter boils. So you're just going to... So as you're doing that, um, I was traveling in Nepal. This is what... What I'm talking about, Ayurvedic medicine uses ghee in like very interesting ways. I was traveling and I did a one week long um, healing treatment that was a bunch of different Ayurvedic therapies all involved. And one of them was they took ghee, they laid me down, and they literally put like dough around my eyes with holes in the middle so it was like going to make a little well. And they poured ghee into the holes. And so for 15 or 20 minutes, I was supposed to like frequently open my eyes. So like start with the eyes closed and then you like slowly open them and it helps to basically detox because wow. it goes in through your eyes. It was the most interesting experience I've ever had. And afterwards you're like a little cloudy, but it, it, did, it did work. I was very detoxed after that. <laughs> Well, I don't recommend trying that at home unless you know what you're doing for sure. Definitely. <laughs> so it looks good. All right, so see, we've just cleared off the milk solids yep. from ghee. You can see how much clearer that is. Love it. And then I just usually use a mason jar, and I don't even use cheesecloth. I just do a good pour. Now, some will get caught at the bottom, so I usually pour until I start to see the milk solids again. And you can so use cheesecloth if you'd like to really drain and strain things. There you go. Amazing. Awesome. So my